Kubik's Unit 1 nuclear reactor was returned to service in November last year, following the longest outage in the power station's history. This was in order to replace steam generators with the end goal of having the unit's life extended by 20 years. Its license application to the National Nuclear Regulator was ultimately successful. But the nuclear energy watchdog, SAFSI, says the decision to grant the extension was flawed. It submits that both Unit 1 and 2 have well-documented structural issues. I can get into some of the technical aspects, um, the lack of a, a effective monitoring system within the power plant. So in other words, we, they don't know what's going on. So if there is, in a highly hazardous type of energy system like this, if you can't tell what's really going on within the containment structure of the nuclear power units, then that means that we are at higher risk for um, some kind of accident, because if you're not monitoring, you can't have proper defense in depth. And so that's one of the big problems, and that's been urgent since 2015. So ESCOM has not performed its role, and we're concerned that the NNR has given this uh, license extension while these essential safety repairs haven't been done yet. The organization has also cited concerns around monitoring and transparency at the power station. Kuberg's been on the list of uh, uh, energy plant that is of concern. And it's got to do with issues like the lack of transparency. So, for example, it's very difficult to keep up with what's happening at the power plant. Unit 1 has been off since last week. And we only found out by going to ESCOM's um, website. So it's not something that's being shared publicly. We also know the cost of refurbishing a nuclear power station to extend its life is incredibly expensive. Again, ESCOM hasn't been transparent about the true costs. ESCOM, meanwhile, says they are in the process of bringing the unit back online after its eight-day outage. Quebec Unit 1 was conservatively and safely shut down on Wednesday, 11 September 2024, after an isolation of block valve failed its three monthly routine test. This follows its return to service last year after the long-term operation project, which aimed to ensure that 1,900 megawatts of stable, reliable, clean, and cost-effective energy will be added to the grid for an additional 20 years, thereby supporting economic activities in the country. At no point was the safety of the plant, staff, public, or environment at risk. The intervention has been completed and the unit is in the process of being safely returned to service. The power utility says it cannot comment on SAFSI's appeal to the National Nuclear Regulator. Vanessa Puna, SABC News, Cape Town.